Subtraction with unlike denominators, using fraction strips. We need to solve 4 over 5 minus 3 over 10. We can subtract these two fractions because they have unlike denominators. To solve, we need to find the like denominator. We can do this by using fraction strips. We place a 1 as our benchmark. We put 4 strips of 1 fifth to represent 4 over 5. Underneath these strips, we put 3 strips of 1 tenth to represent 3 over 10. This empty space is our difference. To find the like denominator, we need to find the common multiple. First, let's list the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15. Now let's list the multiples of 10. We'll list them until we have a common multiple with 5. 10. As you can see, 10 is the common multiple between 5 and 10. So to solve, we're going to use fraction strips with 10 in the denominator. Two strips of 1 tenth fit into 1 fifth. So we have 8 tenths. Now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract. 8 tenth minus 3 tenths equals 5 tenths, which is equivalent to 1 half. Let's do another example. 1 half minus 1 sixth. We're going to use the 1 as a benchmark. Place the 1 half strip underneath the 1. Then we put a 1 sixth strip under the 1 half. The empty space is our difference. To find the difference, we need a common denominator. We can find it by using multiples. First, we list the multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Now we list the multiples of 6, until we have a common multiple with 2. 6. As you can see, 6 is the common multiple. So we're going to use the fraction strips with 6 in the denominator. 3 strips of 1 sixth fit into 1 half. So 1 half equals 3 sixth. Now we can subtract. 3 over 6 minus 1 over 6 equals 2 over 6 which is equivalent to one-third. Let's do another example. Two-thirds minus one-fourth. We'll use one as the benchmark. Under the one, we put two strips of one-third to represent two-thirds. Underneath, we put one strip of one-fourth. The empty space is our difference. To find the like denominator, we need to find the common multiple. First, we list the multiples of three. 3, 6, 9, 12. Now we list the multiples of 4 until we find a common multiple with 3. 4, 8, 12. As you can see, 12 is the common multiple. So we're going to use fraction strips with 12 in the denominator. 4 strips of 1 twelfth fit into 1 third. So 2 thirds equals 8 twelfths. 3 strips of 1 twelfth fit into 1 fourth. So 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths. Now we can subtract. 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. Let's do another example. 3 fifths minus 1 half. We'll use 1 as the benchmark. Under the 1, we'll put 3 strips of 1 fifth to make 3 fifths. Underneath that, we'll put one strip of one half. The empty space is our difference. To find the like denominator, we need to find the common multiple. First, let's list the multiples of five. Five, 10, and so on. Now let's list the multiples of two until we find a common multiple with five. Two, four, six, eight, 10. As you can see, 10 is the common multiple, so we're going to use fraction strips with a 10 in the denominator. Two strips of 1 tenth fit into 1 fifth, so 3 fifths is equal to 6 over 10. Five strips of 1 tenth fit into 1 half, so 1 half is equal to 5 tenths. Now we can subtract. 6 tenths minus 5 tenths 
equals one tenth. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.